Glenn, firstly for you, should Kepa be Chelsea's number one next season? Yes or no? Uh, for me, based on performances, I'd say no. Um, but it's not as easy as that. Um, the board of you know, uh, they've supported the club and they've given a huge amount of money to go and get a superstar that they thought they was getting. Um, so, if you imagine if you're the board and the club, or, or sorry, the, 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 the manager comes to you and says, right, we want to buy a goalkeeper, you know, 12 months after whatever it is after spending 80 million, uh, you, they're going to laugh at you. So, the business aspect, aspect, it doesn't really work. It's in their interest to work with him and try and get him back to his best level. Um, but in terms of his level at the moment, no. For me, he's not Chelsea's number one. Um, but I just think that he has the ability. He, he has it in him. Uh, but for whatever reason, he's just not getting it. Uh, he's not performing at the moment. So I think Chelsea's best scenario is to put your arm around him, work out what he needs and support him. Um, because at the moment, I don't see him as Chelsea's number one. Lauren, before I get your opinion on this, I'm going to give you a little stat. Uh, the Premier League has been around since 1992. It's a very long time. Chelsea have played in every single season. Kepa has conceded 8% of Chelsea's goals in the Premier League, and he's been at the club now for two seasons. 8% of all the goals conceded. Now, I know he's followed some big shoes. Petr Cech, for example, one of the best the Premier League has ever seen. What do you take? What, what what do you make of that stat? Do you expect Kepa <laughs> to be number one next season? Does he deserve it? Do they have time to mould him into a number one? Yeah, but the, the thing is, it's a bit unfair. This eight percent of the goal. I have to consider, as we said earlier, which central backs are playing in nowadays for Chelsea. Yeah. Which central back were playing in our time in Chelsea? John Terry, Cahill. Big bear, if you go Desely, Lebov, I mean, it's a bit of a goal. Sometimes we're talking about the goalkeeper or, or specifically one position. It's about the whole team. I think over it's the years, that, yeah. of course, I mean, Arsenal had, uh, Chelsea had fantastic, the best, one of the best world uh, class central backs in the history of, of Chelsea and also in the, the wide position, Baba Yaro, Glenn Jones. I mean, it's not the same uh, Chelsea as it was before. So, therefore, I'm saying, these stats are a bit unfair on, on, on Kepa because I've been seeing this guy when he was at Lefty Bilbao. I mean, it was unbelievable, superb. So, therefore, I'm saying I will stay with him because if you pay for, I pay 80 million pounds <laughs> two years ago and now, what are going to do with him? You're going to sell it for 90 million if you devaluate his performance? No, I think you have to work on it, try to get his confidence back and try to build a team uh, sometimes we sign a strikers, a forward player, but you have to sign play in that back four in order to give chance to the goalkeeper. So uh, therefore, I'm saying, I think I will stay with Kepa and will hear him, giving him confidence back and strength the team in the areas that Chelsea needs to be strength, which is at the back. Well, I'll jump in and sort of counter your argument there about who Kepa has in front of him because Bern Leno has also got an Arsenal back line that has been heavily criticised, but Bern Leno doesn't get criticised as a goalkeeper. He's conceded quite <laughs> yes. a few goals, but he's not getting the criticism that Kepa gets because he, yeah, he seems to be also, effectively doing his job. People don't, don't forget what he did with uh, Sarri. When Sarri tried to replace him, he says, no, this is a fact as well. And so you get people against that kind of behavior, which is not like. So therefore, once he's not performing a considering goal, people went after him. But in the terms of Lena, as you said, I think Arsenal have the same problem. I was talking to Edu, which is uh, now the sport director for Arsenal. I was saying to him at the beginning of the season, we have to strength in, in the, our back line because we need like uh, Liverpool has done with, with with this Dutch guy, it's a massive improvement for, for the whole team because sometimes we're talking about the strength of forward, but you need to strength in the area that you need. And definitely in that position of central back, we need to strengthen it as Chelsea has to do it. Uh, when it comes to, to Kepa, Glenn, I mean, do you reckon anybody can actually afford him? Do you reckon anybody would be willing to pay the cash for him? And secondly, if this season were con was considered effectively a buy, 
for Frank Lampard because of the transfer ban and he was forced to use youngsters and it's being said this has been a highly successful season under those circumstances the fact that he got Champions League football can he afford to have a goalkeeper he can't fully trust next season I mean what should they be aspiring to do yeah it's a tough one look Chelsea's season from where Lamp's picked up, it's been amazing. There's no two ways, of, uh, there's no two doubts about that. He's, he's been amazing. The results have been fantastic. And yes, they've shipped in a hell of a lot more goals than you'd expect, but they still got the top four. And if they was given that opportunity at the start of the season, they would bite your arm off. Um, but yeah, to, to answer your first question in terms of Kepa, like, like I just said, I think for, for many reasons, I think Chelsea have to nurture him back to his best because right now, I don't think people would pay 30 million for him. So, you're not going to set fire to £50 million just to get the guy out the door because I can't imagine he's that much of a bad character that you just want to desperately get rid of him. Um, so I think no. So I think there's many reasons to point towards working what you've got, try and get him back to his best. Because as Lauren says, when he's at Bilbao, he was making saves that were ridiculous. Those outrageous saves. So he has the ability, the capability is there. Somehow they just need to nurture it back out of him and, and get him smiling again and get him some confidence. Because, yes, there's been goals going in this season that he should be saving with his eyes closed. Um, but for whatever reason, it all, it all boils down to confidence. So I think, like I say, business-wise and personnel-wise, I think it's best for Lamps to work with what he's got. All right.